Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to our channel, and thanks for logging on. Today we're discussing the Bulgari Octo Solo Tampo. You can see this 41.5mm automatic Bulgari on our website. Purchase it there, and subscribe to our channel if you enjoy these videos. You can also click on the card in the upper right hand corner of the screen at any time during this video to see our full sales listing for this Bulgari Automatic with additional accessories included in the sale, high resolution images for your desktop, and actually complete pricing details for this Solo Tampo. Now the watch you see on my wrist, 41.5 millimeters across the broad of the case from 9 o'clock to 3 is an interesting combination of an unconventional shape with a very compact and ergonomically outstanding fit. Oftentimes, non-round watches become very particular, idiosyncratic in the way they fit, and there's none of that here in the case of this Bulgari Octo. Now, 41.5 is the distance across the wrist from 3 to 9, not inclusive of the crown. The watch has no crown guards. It's quite slim, being only 11 millimeters thick, you can also see that the bezel is generously sloped, so it does make it easy for a tight sleeve or formal cuff to wrap up and over the watch. Now from lug to lug, there are perhaps two horizontal measurements that apply. 47 millimeters is the distance from metal lug to metal lug tip. The watch does have a little bit of a tendency to flare across the wrist because the strap, which is very substantial and luxurious, is quite massive as well. You can see with folded sides, small rectangular scale alligator leather with a monotone stitch, it's beautifully integrated into the case in a seamless arc, absolutely no gap between case and strap end, so the coherence is outstanding, but again, it will fight your wrist a little bit. I would say 15.5 centimeters in circumference is probably the smallest wrist that can wear this watch with absolute ease and security. A little bit smaller than that, 15, and you might have a little bit of looseness, but the watch will still look good. Just be advised, 15.5 is probably the lower limit for security and proportion. Now the watch is beautifully made. You can see that all of the facets are either satin finished and beautifully or high polish, and the contrast is outstanding. Now, the Octo line was formally subsumed into Bulgari in 2010. Previously, it had been a signature design of Gerald Genta, which was purchased as a manufacturer by Bulgari back in 2000. Now, in 2012, the watch you see here, branded not as a Bulgari Gerald Genta, but solely as a Bulgari Octo debuted. It is a beautiful piece. The substance of the strap is matched by an equally substantial deployant clasp, single fold, beautifully finished, Bulgari inscribed, you can see it has alternately matte and polished surfaces, beautifully made, it's very substantial, and it gives you that extra measure of security joining with the other side of the strap so that you know the watch won't accidentally slip and fall when donning or removing at bedside. Now, the timepiece itself, is all in stainless steel and quite nicely proportioned. It's a layered design whereupon the sapphire and the satin finished bezel sit atop a sort of pyramid of subordinate metal forms, each one sharply angled and creased. The watch has the panache of a beautifully tailored Italian suit and the dial itself, again all of the watch previously emerged from Gerald Genta's manufacture, but the thing is, Gerald Genta was half Italian, and perhaps where the DNA of this watch originates is in that Italian half of Genta himself, because it transitioned almost seamlessly to the Bulgari line in a logical, coherent, and organic fashion. You'll note the combination of round and sharp geometric forms creates tension tangible tension in the aesthetic of the watch, and that continues on the beautiful black lacquered dial, which has a deep and rich gloss finish. All of the numerals and indices are polished and applied by hand, and beautifully so, giving the dial a little bit of extra depth, and the date window at 3 o'clock is highly unobtrusive. There when you want it, disappears when you don't. Now on the case back, there is what Bulgari calls the caliber BVL193, which is a modified Valche Manufacture 3002. 50 hour power reserve, automatic winding, it has ceramic rotor bearings for high efficiency and durability, it operates at a modern 28,800 vibrations per hour, and it's quite accurate across the entirety of its power reserve of 50 hours, thanks to twin mainspring barrels, and you can see them here on their jewel pivots, that ensure a nice even torque release from minimum wind to maximum wind. Now you'll also note that the movement is adjusted in five positions, a surprising degree of refinement for a watch from a house best known for fashion, but this watch really does spare no expense mechanically, with a top flight movement abundantly improved and fitted with Bulgari's own unique regulator system, not the original free-sprung assembly from the 
base 3002. It's nicely made with linear Cote de Genève across the bridges and winding mass. Handsome. One could even say that this movement, which also features hacking or stop seconds and a quick set date, has become th something of the modern day Gégé Le Coult 889, which was the haute horlogerie power plant to an entire industry back in the 80s and 90s. Today, Bulgari is well suited to the Valché and vice versa, a premium watch and a premium movement with a premium pedigree. Conceived by Gérald Genta, executed by Bulgari and powered by Valché, you can see and you can purchase this Octo Solo Tampo on our website.